First to learn weather with meteorologist Spencer Blum. I mean, well, when we look out at what it's like right now, it is slightly warm, but it's not too bad. Right now, seeing at 100 degrees at the airport, but when, when we look at our dew points, they are very low, 27 degrees. That's very, very dry, and well, it's like that across the valley today. You can see it is very comfortably dry. Dew points across the board in the 20s and 30s, so you can definitely use your evaporative coolers. They're not going to be giving you any issues right now which is good because it is slightly above average today, at least in terms of our temperatures. Average being around 99 degrees. So Palm Desert is sitting right on the money, but Palm Springs at 100, 102 in Indio, La Quinta, and Thousand Palms. So slightly on the warmer side today, but today is supposed to be the warmest day of the week. So as we move into the next few days, we can expect some slightly cooler temperatures. So you can see here when we look at our weather pattern, today's the warmest day of the week. It's still warm here. We still have this weak ridging, this weak area of high pressure, which is giving us these slightly warmer temperatures. However, when we look up to the north, we have quite a big trough. This isn't necessarily going to fully extend down towards Southern California, but it is going to move south over the next few days. So partly you can see here it's starting to dip down in the jet stream and it's pushing this high pressure off to the east. That's why we're going to start to see cooling starting tomorrow, and we're probably going to see those daily highs closer to maybe 100 degrees, hopefully just below that, though. Once we get toward Friday, you can see that, well, this trough is going to start to dip into California, ma mainly the northern part of California, but you can see it's going to bring in much cooler air. And, well, when we get troughs like this, yes, it does bring in cooler air, but it also does bring in some slightly windier conditions. So for today, gusts aren't going to be too bad, at least from our future track. They don't look too bad. We're only really going to be seeing a gust maybe in the 20 to 25 mile an hour range. So this is not unusual for us. We see this pretty frequently here. Nothing really to write home about. However, starting tomorrow evening, we're going to see those gusts start to pick up a little bit more. You can see, going to be seeing some gusts up, you know, closer to maybe above the 30 mile an hour mark up in Whitewater and closer to that 25 mile an hour gust mark in Thousand Palms and, of course, along the I-10 corridor. That'll also continue as we get toward Friday. Friday, we're going to really start to see those gusts pick up quite a bit. You can see they're starting to become a lot more widespread and a lot stronger. We're seeing a gust on our future track a little bit closer to 40 miles an hour near the pass and a little bit closer to 30 miles an hour in Desert Hot Springs, which is a very windy area, as well as here in Thousand Palms. So we're going to be seeing gustier conditions over the next few days. And that is partly why we're going to be issuing a first alert weather alert. But for the rest of this evening, it's going to be fairly comfortable. We're going to get rid of those triple digit temperatures probably around sundown. Like I mentioned a second ago, we are going into a first alert weather alert Friday, Saturday and Sunday, specifically for the risk of windblown dust, visibility concerns, road closures and of course air quality concerns. That's mainly because these gusts are going to pick up. But on the bright side, temperatures this weekend are going to be quite a bit below average in the low 80s. Peter.